guys welcome back to another episode of C programming tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about another important loop statement in C programming called the for loop so a for loop is also performing the same functionality and same functions of a while loop with some difference here this is the syntax of a for loop in C programming first you need to initialize a variable here this is the syntax this is for the keyboard and this is the function bracket of that loop and first you need to initialize some values initialize some variables now provide any condition and separate the initialization condition with the semicolon don't forget to add a semicolon here and you need to put a condition here and put a semicolon here and finally there is an updation statement there is no semicolon needed for the updation and you have to close the brackets and here is the function bracket here is the function body of the for loop you can put your statement or block of statements into this function body okay so the working is some uh, there is some little difference of uh, difference in working with the for and while loop so for the for loop first it will start the initialization that means it initialize some variables and with that value it detect a condition and if the condition is found to be true it will enter into the loop body and execute the loop body after the full execution of the loop body it will coming back to updation and perform an updation it may be an increment or decrement operation and check the condition again if the condition is found to be a true one it again enter into the loop enter into the loop body now execute it now again come to the updation again perform a updation again come to condition if the condition is again true one again execute the loop body now this will cycles under the, until the condition is a false one if the condition is found to be a false one the loop will exit okay uh, here the initialization perform only once at the beginning of the loop and uh, it will check the condition and enter into the loop now go to updation again check condition again enter loop again updation condition enter loop whenever the condition is false the loop will exit this is the working of an for loop in C programming okay you can initialize any number of variables here you can put the comma operator for uh, uh, for separating the variable declaration so i will uh, i will give i will explain that one uh, i will explain that in another episode so now we we can check this condition check this index of for loop with an example so good i open my ide here i start a for loop before i have to initialize a variable i initialize a variable here int i equal to zero the value of i is zero first and here sorry i don't need to initialize it just declare that variable int i so here the first condition first statement is the initialization so i initialize the variable here here the variable is i i initialize the variable i with the value zero and now here I am going to put a condition i less than or equal to 5 this is the condition and put a semicolon here now I have to provide an update statement here it, it is an increment operation i plus plus so if there is only one statement you can avoid these brackets if there is more than one statement you can put your bracket put this bracket okay so I print a string a message here print it in a new line hello world okay so here the output is print hello world into 0 to 5 that means 6 times this loop print the value of print this uh, string this message 6 times that is the output of this program so I save the program first compile it compilation is success now run it here is the output one two three four five six six times okay so we can just check the 
how this work first it initializes the value of i into 0 now check the condition now the condition is 0 less than or 5 it is true so print the message hello world again come to this update statement now the value of i become 1 again check the condition 1 less than 5 again it is found to be true now print it again again come to updation that means i become 3 and this will cycles until the value of i 6 whenever the value of i is 6 this condition become false one and the loop body will exit guys this is the working of a for loop in c programming i hope you enjoy this video thank you for watching see you in the next part